Well, here you go. This is a Gen 1 and Gen 2 um, PCV valve. Um, they have the same shape. This is where the hose connects that goes to the plenium. And you can see the hose uh, inlet there uh, is about half an inch across. But the little hole that gets plugged up by sludge is very small, probably about two millimeters across. So people, this is what the problem is. Um, you can try to clean these things, but there's a lot of internal components in there. And if you have any sludging whatsoever in your motor, it's going to clog up this. And if you, if you screw up your PCV valve system, oh my god. You have totally wrecked your motor because air is going to blow out seals and I mean if I need to tell you what it's going to do then you need to start reading it. I don't have time to tell you at all. But people this little hole is very very crucial. So um, one way you can really test this you can uh, pull out on your bank one which is the passenger side on a front wheel drive excuse me on a rear wheel drive and then uh, on the side that's facing the um, uh, passengers um, on a front wheel drive vehicle, that's bank one. So um, what you can do, you can pull out the, <coughs> on the very back of the valve cover, you can pull out uh, the cam sensor. Um, don't run it without it or anything like that, you have to relearn it then. So take it out and see if there's any sludge on it. And if there's sludge on there, boy, you, you got problems with your motor. Uh, these three sixes should not sludge. Uh, if, they sl if they're sludging, you're going too long in your intervals, uh, oil change intervals, and you're not changing the PCV valve, and, you know, if you're using the wrong weight of oil, I mean, there could be a bunch of stuff. Or just cheap oil. You should only be running synthetic in this, you know, if... If you can't afford to run synthetic, then you really need to sell the car because you're not maintaining it. And, you know, give it to someone else that can maintain it. So people, this is the problem. It's a very, very small orifice. It's, you know, like two millimeters across. You know, like a pencil lead thickness at the end, very thin. And about 20% that I pull off, I, I, I keep these in stock. Uh, S&P brand, brand, they're about 30 $35 or so. A Rock Auto, you can get them. Um, I keep them in stock, and I change these out. And I, between 20 and 40% are plugged up. But people wait, wait, you know, wait too long. They go 100,000 miles. Uh, but that's what Mopar recommends. So uh, I'm just telling you, this is a very important thing, and uh, it would pay to heed my advice.